There are two main ways to find the ionic charge here for sulfur, S. First is to look at the periodic table, look at trends on the periodic table for ionic charge, and the second is to look at the electron configuration. If we look at the periodic table, we can see that there's some pretty general trends for ionic charge. Group 1, all of these are 1 plus. Group 2, 2 plus. We skip the transition metals and some of these here. And then over here, group 16, sometimes called 6A, we have sulfur right below oxygen. That has a 2 minus ionic charge. So we'll write that up there. And the ionic charge for sulfur is 2 minus. We could also write the electron configuration to kind of understand why it has this 2 minus charge. So if we're thinking of just sulfur as it's found on the periodic table, not the ion, just S right here, we see that it has 16. That's the atomic number. That's the number of protons. It's also the number of electrons. So we can write the electron configuration for sulfur, and we have to distribute 16 electrons around the nucleus. Let's do that. So we have 16 electrons. We start out with the first energy level and an s orbital, which will hold up to 2. That's full. Then we go to the 2, s2. We have a 2p, which holds up to 6. So we've used a total of 10. This is the second energy level, and that's full with 8 electrons. So we go to the third. We have our s2. And remember, we need 16. So far, we've used 10, 11, 12. So in the 3p, we'll just put 4. So this is the electron configuration just for s. You can see right here, this energy level, the second energy level, that was full with 8. We have 6 here. So if we could add 2 more, this energy level would be full. That'd be very stable. So when we add electrons, they're negative, And we're going to put 2 more here. That means that sulfur has this 2 minus ionic charge. And by having a total of 8 valence electrons here, this energy level, the third energy level, that's full. So that's why sulfur bonds with other elements like sodium or with some of the positive metals to form ionic compounds. It gets two more electrons from those metals, and it has this stable electron configuration. So either way, you can use the periodic table, and you can look at the charge, the trend for ionic charge to find the ionic charge on sulfur, or you can use electron configurations. Either way, sulfur, the ionic charge, is 2 minus. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.